Okay, today I want to show you how to eat the marula fruit. Okay, here are the marula fruit which I picked up on the way uh, when I'm coming from uh, Peronisburg. It was pretty hot day the other day when I went there, uh, Sunday. Uh, but uh, we had good fun and I got some sunburn, you know, these are the sunburn marks. Uh, here are the golden uh, marula fruit which the elephants and all the uh, jungle uh, denizens they like. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to eat these uh, fruits, okay? Okay, here is the marula, which is pretty ripe. I mean, it's good. It's uh, just ripe, not overripe. If it's overripe, then it uh, produces alcohol, and uh, that gives a lot of kick. And I'll show you an uh, overripe fruit as well. Okay, here is an overripe fruit. Look at the color. So it uh, slowly gets uh, dried out, but inside it produces uh, a kind of alcohol, you know, alcohol or some uh, intoxicating uh, thing. So <clears throat> if you eat a few of these, then you definitely will uh, be knocked down. Uh, but I'm going to show you the one which is just ripe and uh, tastes uh, extremely good, okay? Um, here is the, uh, uh, you know, the opening where you can uh, bite it off and uh, you know, uh, get inside uh, the, the fleshy kernel. Okay, I beat it off. So this is how it looks like inside, very juicy. So that's what that is. And that's the flesh. And uh, it's pretty fleshy and uh, juicy. And it has a lot of vitamin C. It has like, um, three to four times the vitamin C uh, than that of orange. Uh, that's what I read. And also the kernel uh, has a hard shell and inside there's a nut, very uh, nutritious, very protein rich uh, nut. But I'm not going to try that because I need uh, instruments to break it open. So I'm not going to try that. But you know, the, the fruit itself is pretty nourishing. I'm having, uh, you know, about 10, 15 every day. And, uh, you know, it's pretty, it tastes pretty good. And um, I feel a lot of energy. Okay, here we go. That's what that is. This is like a shell, but still there's a lot of juice inside. That's it. It no longer has anything. And I'm going to show you some uh, uh, seeds which I have just uh, completed. Um, this is the seed. It has a lot of cotton outside. There's a lot of cotton fiber and a fleshy uh, uh, content along with the cotton. So it uh, keeps uh, itself uh, wet for quite some time. It's very difficult to dry this out. Which gives me an idea that uh, this could be an excellent uh, hydrating agent. You know, like uh, moisturizing uh, cream can be made from this uh, uh, pulp. Uh, I'm uh, not sure why nobody has ever tried. But this would be an excellent uh, uh, material for the hydrating gels. And particularly to use in uh, winter or even in uh, summer to cool down. So that's what I felt. Uh, the kernel, you know, probably about uh, 10 grams, you know, uh, about 10 grams or so, 8 to 10 grams. And a very nutritious nut inside. That is that. Again, let me show you all the, uh, the fruits which uh, have been uh, uh, collected on the way from uh, Peronisburg. The marula fruit uh, from which the amarula uh, liquor. Amarula liquor is made from these fruits and the nut. You can uh, listen to the beautiful song by Amanda Jensen, uh, Amarula Tree. You can look for that song in YouTube. It's a beautiful song uh, dedicating uh, uh, that song to the Amarula tree and the Marula fruit. Very interesting song. Please uh, do that. Thanks for watching.